Hey guys, what's going on? James here, back with the income journey. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a store that has done about $200,000 or so. They're absolutely crushing it with personalized print on demand. And we're also going to show you in this video exactly how they create the designs that they do so that you can go out there and also create designs that look very complicated, but they're actually not. They're very simple to create when you know how. So we're going to jump in today, take a look at this and show you exactly how they do it if you do enjoy the video please do go ahead give it a thumbs up hit subscribe if you're new here and let's go ahead and jump into the computer and show you exactly what we're talking about this website is called giftshack.com and essentially what they do is they go ahead they take a photo that the customer sends in and they turn it into a watercolor or kind of like an old vibey sort of photo you can see here some of the work that they do i actually really like these black background ones but then we've also got a more traditional sort of canvasy vibe right here where they're using sort of a beige textured background and you can see if we scroll on down here they've got a ton of reviews and stuff on here as well so let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of different variants that they sell because they're operating in a couple of different niches their main one is pet portraits it seems to be where they do most of their volume you can see here they do a poster a frame poster and a canvas so they're getting three different variants of the same product and obviously just the higher up the chain you go there the bigger the profit margins except maybe with a frame poster they're quite expensive to actually go ahead and produce you can see here i believe we've actually in the past used this exact same mock-up from place it uh, but if you want to go ahead and use frame posters they're going to cost you much much more from a provider like guten than just a normal poster or even a canvas so you can see here they're selling the canvases slightly cheaper than the frame posters so what's actually interesting here when i'm taking a look at these is there's no option to either get a black background or a white background or a beige background it really seems to depend on you know whatever the photo is the customer sends in so it's probably going to be easier to do some on a black background and some are going to be easier on a beige background and that's maybe how they get around you know some lower quality photos and stuff like that that people might send in to manage the logistical side of this and upload the customer photos they're using something like bold product options right here with the customer and come in choose their file that they want to upload add in a signature if they want and then depending on how many faces or pets are in the photo they're charging an upsell here and this is very smart because it really doesn't cost them any extra or any more time to go out there and do this for multiple different characters when you're doing this in photoshop but like i'm going to show you in a minute it doesn't really matter you can just do it all at once and it's going to look pretty much the same it doesn't you know cost 21 dollars extra to do four versus one it might take an extra little bit of time but nothing much and it's well worth that order bump but to the customer they're thinking you know it's going to be a lot more work to do too and it's a reasonable upsell here for the customer but it's just free money for you as a store owner then down here they're just going ahead and they're adding in a note for a designer if that's something that you want and then they've got a nice sales page here showing off some examples and some uh, customer photos that people have sent in if they do want to go ahead and get it framed they also explain that as well but let's take a look at the reviews here and we're going to use the reviews to calculate roughly how much revenue the store has done they don't have enough traffic yet to be on similar web so we can't look at that so let's go ahead and take a look here in the reviews section they've got 301 reviews you can see here lots and lots of customers sending in the photos these all look pretty legit reviews right here so we're going to go ahead open up our calculator let's pull that up so let's pull up the calculator and what i'm going to do is do 300 reviews so usually about one in 10 customers will leave a review we'll go for one in five to be conservative here so that gives us 1500 people actually leaving a review so let's go for 1500 or sorry 1500 people actually ordering a product and then if we take a look up here i would say their average order value i'd say a lot of people are probably ordering canvases it's also probably a lot of people ordering posters right here but their lowest price is 34 dollars. then you're going to add shipping on that they only do free shipping on 150 dollars. that's probably in around five to six dollars as well so most people are probably going to come in and either order you know a poster they may order a 16 by 20 18 by 24 or 24 by 36 some people are also going to order framed which is going to definitely bump up that average order value a little bit and then also with canvases here i believe the cheapest one is 60 dollars. and then a lot of people are going to be adding in this little order bump here for the number of faces we can see here if we scroll down right here you can see some people are ordering with three some people are ordering with two so it's definitely going to be 
a small proportion of all orders are going to have that order bump on it as well so i'm going to take the average order value in around about 65 dollars or so plus shipping which is about 70 dollars so let's go ahead and put that into our calculator 1500 orders times a 70 dollar average order value so let's go ahead and times that by 70 and that's hundred and five thousand dollars and again one out of five people leaving a review i think is a little bit conservative i think that's probably more like one in ten which would put their revenue at about two hundred thousand dollars for this store so we're just trying to be conservative here but i thought it was a cool store it's fairly small but it's fairly new and they're doing really well as well as pets in this store they also do stuff like people's paintings so like wedding photos or just photos you know of couples and stuff like that that is definitely going to be one where there's more faces in them because generally i've suppose if we look at the reviews here uh, there's quite a few baseball ones it looks like that's maybe an advert that they've ran specifically targeting baseball with this type of product and that's definitely done well with them just looking uh, at the reviews here it's one that definitely popped off but i imagine you're going to get people coming in with wedding photos engagement photos and stuff like that on this uh, and that's probably going to do very well for them and get that order bump uh, right here as well again same price and then they do old photos restoration which i thought was a cool one it's not really restoring old photos people are just sending in you know an old maybe black and white photo or something like that they're adding a little bit of color to it uh, and going ahead and making it in this nice little print format or this watercolor format right here so let's go ahead fire up photoshop and show you exactly how you can do something similar to this in mind i am no photoshop expert i've used it you know in the past for maybe five six years but i never got into really advanced stuff i just kind of follow tutorials and learn as i go and this is fairly simple to do there's really no huge amount of work that you need to do once you follow the process you can do it again and again and again and finally get the result that you want so let's show you exactly how to do it i'm going to delete everything i've already got in here so i've just dragged in a photo of a little dog that i've got here i'm just going to make it the full uh, width of the screen so let's pull this just a little bit bigger here keeping the dimensions the same i'll put it up a little bit so we can get a little bit of that ground in at the bottom hit enter right there so the first thing you want to do is just select the photo and then you want to come up here to filters you want to go to filter gallery and in the filter gallery the first one we want to select is dry brush and you want to have the same settings i've got here brush size 2 brush detail 8 and texture 1 go ahead click ok on that again we want to come up to filter filter gallery and in here this time we want to go to cutout and we want to have eight zero and two so we're going to go ahead we're going to click okay on that and then you want to double tap this top filter that we just added obviously the photo right now looks ridiculous let's double tap this i'm going to do this in around 20 percent or so so i'm going to come in here select about 21 and we want to also drop down this and go to multiply and that's going to darken it up a bit pop out them contrast click OK, and we're good to go on that. Next thing we're gonna do, again, just make sure your photo is selected, go to filter, come down here to blur, go to smart blur down at the bottom. And in here, we wanna select radius three, threshold 25, low and normal right here. Click OK, it's gonna sharpen the image up a little bit or add a little bit of blur to it to make it look more like that watercolor or acrylic design that we're looking for right here. So next thing that we wanna do is go ahead, select our photo, click down here on the layer mask button, and that's gonna create a mask over it. Once you've done that, you wanna select Control and I on your keyboard, or if you're on Mac, I believe it's Command I. So we've selected that, now the photo goes completely white. So once you've done this, you want to then get like a beige background. If you wanted to do it on a black background, you could go ahead and get a black photo. But I've just downloaded a simple kind of rough beige paper texture right here. You can get this on Google. You can maybe get it on Creative Fabrica or just on some free stock photo website. So I'm just going to make this the size of our canvas right here. Click enter on this. And what we need to do then is just select here, come to this drop down and select multiply. And that is going to allow us to kind of rub out the background and let our photo come through. So the next thing we want to do is just select the little black layer mask right here and then come over to our brushes. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download free brushes. You can see here, if I go into my brushes, I have this 20 paint splash brushes uh, kind of section right here. So I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can download them for free. You will need them. There is a couple of default ones that you could probably do something similar with inside photoshop as default but using these are just a little bit easier so i'm going to select through here for a second to see which one i actually want to use initially here on my drawing so i'm going to pick this one just going to control z that make our brush a little smaller here and then we're going to put this initially just over our little puppy's head so let's select that that's looking pretty good i'm going to do it again just a little bit lower 
looking good. And now what we want to do is actually come in here to the opacity. So you could just come in and use the brush like this and you could essentially just leave it like that. But we want to make it look a little bit more realistic and a little better. So I'm going to control Z, just leave the initial one there. Come into your opacity tool, drop it down until about 26 or so, and then just start dropping in a couple more here around it. So just a couple of clicks and you'll see we start to get these kind of faded looks around the edges and for me it just makes it look a little bit more realistic and a little better so now i'm going to select a different brush here and we're going to add some more to this so let's just scroll through and see which ones we want to use and you can flick through these and i definitely recommend obviously depending on the drawing you're doing or, or what one you're doing going ahead and, and flicking through a couple of different brushes playing around with this so you can get it perfect for your customer and then if you want to give your customer you know maybe some option to to review it and change stuff you could also do that again i would probably do it the same way that these guys have done it where they ask in the order notes if you want to see it if they don't want to see it you can just get it out there and get it shipped out to them most people will be fine uh just with what you send as long as you're doing it in a quality manner so let's take a look here and see what we can find so i want some get some kind of drips on it so let's go for this one again let's just make our brush a little bit smaller here uh, and i'm just going to go in around the bottom get this dude's feet in maybe and i'm going to just pull up the opacity a little bit again make this brush a little bit smaller and just make it kind of drippy at the bottom right where there's these paint splatter marks uh, and let's go ahead, select a few more brushes. So again, at this point, you're really just flicking through brushes, you know, finding what works for your drawing, maybe adding some stuff in, taking it away and seeing what feels right for you. But again, definitely go out and play around with the opacity. Make sure, you know, at the start, initially around the main character, you're doing it at full 100% opacity and that's gonna get a real clear picture of that. But then around the edges, start fading that out more and more as you go. So I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, we're starting to look a little more realistic. I like this around the edges right here. And then what I just want to get is some little drips. So there is a brush in here that has the drips coming off it that we can use. Could be this one. Let's go ahead, control Z, make it really small. So you can see here, this is the big drips on it. So what I'm going to do is just do a hundred percent or like 79% opacity on this. We're going to select there and yeah, so let's get, you can see now. So it's like, you know, at the bottom, the paint has run right down and come in. So starting to look pretty good. Once we throw this into a mock-up, it's going to look really, really nice. Probably could end up going ahead and maybe if, you know, if you wanted to perfect everything, maybe pull this in a little bit closer to the dog's head there. That might be an idea. But again, it just depends on your style and how you want to do it. Uh, and obviously, the more you do these or you could just hire a VA to do it, uh, the better you're going to get at doing them. Obviously, it's just a very quick tutorial to show you how it works and how to get it started. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on how to do this. Let's go ahead and see if this throw it into a mock-up and see how it looks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop our photo on top of the drop file here section. Uh, it looks pretty good in terms of the size. We just need to crop it a tiny little bit here. And now we've got it nicely on our photo. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna go ahead and download it. I just wanted to show you guys it on a canvas and how it looks in place it but i think that looks pretty good and you could definitely go ahead crop this out use this image for your facebook ads or your etsy listings and yeah that's essentially how you do it you can upload as many photos as you want in here you can obviously do this with pets with humans there's a lot of different niches you can branch out into a lot of people obviously do pets but i think there's different ways that you can do this and different niches you could uh, branch into for example in the last couple of videos we've been talking about graduation obviously that's a niche that's big right now so you could definitely do this effect on a graduation photo and that might be a cool present for someone lots of people are doing dogs it's the biggest niche that people kind of tend to go towards, but I definitely recommend trying to look for something different. Maybe that's wedding photos, maybe it's graduation stuff, you know, maybe it's engagement, whatever it is, try out your own niche and go for that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It's really appreciated here on the channel. Hit subscribe if you're new here. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.